Hi everyone, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the transfer order process. The Asset Management application enables asset managers to create transfer orders for moving assets between stockrooms. Transfer order lines allow the transfer of multiple assets on one transfer order. Asset states and substates are updated throughout the transfer order process ensuring the asset managers maintain visibility throughout the process. The Hardware Asset Management Process Guide outlines all the steps required to receive, store, and transfer assets. The Transfer Order Workflow addresses process, for process steps 4.2, Receive Hardware or Consumable Assets, 4.3, Store Hardware or Consumable Assets, and 4.6, ship hardware or consumable assets. I'll now jump into an instance and walk you through the transfer order process. Okay, so I'm logged into a Vancouver instance of ServiceNow with hardware asset management installed. I'm logged in as the asset manager and I'm going to fulfill a request using a transfer order. So as the asset manager, I'm gonna to come to asset operations procurement and take a look at the requests. I can see that this request for the Ottawa user has been approved, so it's okay to go ahead and try and fulfill this request. So again, we can take a look, and this requested uh, item is a lap Latitude um, 5000 series laptop, and it has already been approved by Eric. So now the asset manager can come and source this particular request. So they can come into the catalog task, source task. And again, this is available to me because I have the procurement plugin installed in this instance. So I'm gonna to go to the source request task and I'm gonna choose the source request option. Again, I am sourcing a Latitude 5000 for the Ottawa user that's located in the ServiceNow Ottawa office. So I can see that there's no local stock of this. So I'm going to have to transfer uh, an asset from another location so I can continue the fulfillment process of this request. So I'm going to click on the transfer. And if you remember from our distribution channels video, um, the different distribution channels have been set up for uh, this particular stockroom. So um, the Canada West stockroom was automatically selected because it's the one that has five in it and it is a distribution channel for ServiceNow Ottawa. So I'm going to transfer my quantity of one so that I can fulfill this request into the destination Ottawa stockroom. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And this is going to go ahead and create a transfer order with one transfer order line for the individual asset. So now on this request, I can see that transfer order has been created. And so I can go into this transfer order and begin to process it. So again, there's only one asset being shipped on this. So there's only one transfer order line. Uh, if you're shipping multiple assets, there will be multiple transfer order lines, one for each of the assets. You can also use pallets on transfer orders as well. So that's something important to remember. So I'm going to go into this transfer order line and take a look at the tasks. And the first task is ready for fulfillment. So the uh, either the inventory manager, the hardware asset manager, or the or the stocker manager um, are going to take a look at this task, have it assigned to them, and they're going to say, "Do we have this laptop demo tag one two three six uh, available to send out?" So yes, we do have this one available. So it is ready for fulfillment. So we're going to go ahead and close this task. Once that task is closed, it's going to go ahead and create another task for prepare to ship. So now again, the inventory manager is going to go ahead and prepare this particular asset to ship. So they're going to take it, they'll box it up if it needs boxing up or get it ready to, to ship it. So they're going to go ahead and close this task once they're done. And that will generate another task to ship the actual asset. So this is where the, uh, the inventory manager can come in. They can assign a shipping carrier. Say so we're going to ship at FedEx. We're going to ship it on that waybill number. 
And when are we going to ship this particular asset? We're going to ship this today. And we're going to go ahead and close this task. So now the asset will make its way from um, the Canada West stock room over to the Ottawa stock room and the inventory manager in the, the Ottawa stock room. It King is going to have this task assigned to them and they are going to receive this particular asset. So again, they can put in a task descriptions and they can close this task once they've confirmed that they've received it. Uh, one thing to note is if we take a look at the asset, um, throughout the process, the asset has changed states. So you can see that or before the asset would have gone to a state of in transit as it was shipping. Um, but now and the location previously would have been the Canada West stock room. But now the transfer order process has already updated this particular asset with the Ottawa stock room location with a substate of reserved because it's reserved for that Ottawa user who was part of who submitted the actual request. Um, and we can go ahead and we can just close this asset down here. We're going to close this task has already been closed. We're going to take a look, get rid of a few tabs here. Um, come back to our, here we go, transfer order. Uh, we're going to take a look at those transfer order lines. There we go. There's our tasks right here. Okay, so we have one more task to do on the transfer order, and that's to deliver. So the inventory manager is going to deliver it from the shipping dock into wherever it goes in the um, Ottawa stock room. And once they've done that, they're going to go ahead and close this task. And now that asset has been updated. It is ready. It's in the Ottawa stock room, which is now going to kick off the remaining uh, pieces of the deployment process that you have for your organization. So we can come back into the um, request. We could take a look potentially at the requested items. And we can see that there is a field service task automatically created. So this out of the box um, flow had a, uh, an automatic deployment, which is delivered to customers. So now that it's transfer order has gone from Canada West to the Ottawa stock room, uh, and that asset, a task has already been created for the field service to deliver this to the customer. So that's how you use the um, transfer order process as part of the request process to transfer assets from one stock room to another so that you can fulfill the request. I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for the next video on sourcing a request uh, using a purchase order.